Welcome to the summit. Now, 12 years ago, if you talked about social mobility in the House of Commons, they would have thought you were talking about rural bus services for the elderly. I guess our biggest achievement is that we have played a big part in putting social mobility on the map. In 2005, we asked Steve Machin and his team, Steve's here today and will be speaking later, to look at what's happened to social mobility in Britain. They showed that social mobility had declined and together with the United States, we have the lowest level of social mobility for advanced countries. These findings have had an enormous impact. Now social mobility is arguably the biggest social issue of our time. As it's our 20th anniversary, we've been thinking about the future for the Sutton Trust. Now, together with the Boston Consulting Group, now there are three things that, we are, that are emerging as themes that we're going to focus on. First of all, able young people from low, moderate income backgrounds. This is kind of our bread and butter. We've been doing this for years. We're going to continue doing it. I don't know whether Justine is going to say something about this, but we are looking to manage a highly able fund, which will uh, be uh, essentially uh, government funded. The other area is one that we have been working on for many years which is open access, which is opening up independent day schools based on merit, not money. Uh, we successfully trialed this at the best school in Liverpool. The second one I want to mention is high-level apprenticeships. If you think about it, if you're graduating from school in this country, there are 325,000 kids go to university. There are only 30,000 high-level apprenticeships and only 10,000 for young people. So you basically have no choice. You've got to go to university. And I know a lot of people say all oh, these fees are work because kids from low-income backgrounds are going to university. Actually, they have no choice. So we have we've visited uh, Switzerland and Germany, Connor and Ian Walsh from the Boston Consulting Group. We've looked at what they do. And of course, it's night and day. I mean, if you do an apprenticeship there, uh, it's probably considered to be equivalent to a degree, maybe even higher. And as I said, it, it's everything. It's finance, marketing, te technical. So we feel very uh, strongly that this is an area that needs to grow in this country. Uh, BCG has looked at, if you take an apprentice, uh, degree level apprentice, or just below that, compare lifetime earnings with the average university graduate, you know, they come out ahead. And if you think about it, you earn while you learn, you come out with no debt, you come out with qualifications that the marketplace wants. And by the way, you don't have to look for a job, you're already in a job. So this is a whole area that we are focusing on. Um, and it's unusual for us because this is a policy area. We're not running programs here. And as you probably know, one of our claims to fame is we're, we're a do tank, which means we do a lot of policy work and we try and tie that in with programs. So we're kind of both sides of the fence. The third area I would mention is essential life skills. By that I mean confidence, articulacy, social skills, and so on. These are crucial to kids being successful, maybe even more crucial than academic qualifications. Over the last six months, I've visited six schools, three independent schools and three state schools. They're like night and day. The independent sector works on this in a big way. It happens in the classroom. It happens for extracurricular activities. So we're interested in trying to get essential life skills into state schools and have kids that leave state schools with those skills. Now at this stage, I'm delighted to introduce Justin Greening, who is Secretary of State for Education. 
she has a real passion and commitment to social mobility. Justine is special. When she was Minister for or Secretary of International Development, she actually came and launched one of our programs, even though it wasn't her ministerial responsibility. Justine epitomizes what social mobility is all about. Her journey is from a comprehensive in Rotherham via the London Business School, which, by the way, was part of my journey a lot, many years before you, and a career in finance, and then to the top echelons of government. Justine has been a very good friend to the Trust. I can't think of anyone better to be our keynote speaker at our 20th anniversary. Thank you. Thank you.